It's a cruel summer for some Taylor Swift fans trying to snag tickets to this weekend's concerts at U.S. Bank Stadium. Kirsten Mitchell joins us right now to explain the scams that could leave a blank space in your wallet. Kirsten? Amelia, both nights of the Eras Tour here in Minneapolis have been sold out for months, making that resale market the only option for fans still looking to buy a ticket. But scammers, they are also trying to cash in on all that excitement. A St. Paul woman learned that the hard way. Taylor Swift fans sure are. More than 120,000 are expected to pack U.S. Bank Stadium over two days this weekend. I think when you grew up with Taylor Swift, she kind of hit all the heartbreaks as you did too. So she kind of became your anthem. Becca Thavis saw Taylor Swift as a freshman in high school. She thought she would be one of the lucky ones to see her on Friday with a group of friends. Since I sew and I do hair and makeup, we got everyone from work together and I started making them custom nails. I'm doing hair. We made outfits. I've been sewing for weeks. So here's my outfit. After joining a Woodbury ticket resale group on Facebook, she messaged a woman who claimed to be selling two tickets for $500 each. She is an admin of a selling group. She showed me the tickets. We, I have her driver's license. I like that so much detail. I feel pretty safe. She paid $1,000 through Zelle, but the tickets never showed up. I'm literally willing to like let you keep some of the money. And they actually laughed at all of my like messages. And I was like, oh. So I went around the house and played Taylor Swift's mean song. Experts recommend only buying from trusted people or vendors, pay using a credit card, and watch out for deals that seem too good to be true. I check it once, then I check it twice. Oh. Something Becca learned the hard way. We're putting the karma out there, full pun intended. Thank you. Hopefully, some magic will ensue. And if not, at the very least, I hope that letting other people know that I made this mistake stops them from making the same mistake. And we certainly hope she finds a ticket. And she is not alone. The Better Business Bureau reports almost 200 complaints related to this nationwide tour so far. The Minnesota Attorney General's Office also encourages Minnesotans to report scams to them as well. Amelia. All right. Thank you, Kirsten.